what's up guys welcome back to the channel yeah me know that me deserve some lick with some guava tick but i'm sorry guys for not giving you guys your autocad videos but today's episode is going to be about the windows or um with the same little one bedroom that we have been doing i'm going to generate this in 3d so you guys can properly see it yes guys i'm really sorry let me not tell you no lie i have no excuse but let us begin um i think i am going to do something else with this door like put it somewhere else um if those of you guys that are more af um experienced and have been using autocad to like design houses like you no know, can people can tell you no know, like sometimes when i go up on a house and i look back on someone and be like i don't want that there yes yeah, so that is what i'm going to right now but let's just put in our windows and we can make adjustments later on all right so what i'm going to be using there are different types of windows in autocad i'm going to be using awning window for bathroom i'm going to put an image of um awning window so you guys know what that is somewhere on the screen i'm going to use glider windows for other areas in the house the i think the glider window is the one that you just slide across all right now the windows are here but let me x this off and show you guys how i got that right so go on tools and go on to the drop down and go on design tools and here you would see design walls doors windows etc you go on windows let's begin with the glider window so Remember the last time I was telling you guys that you can label the parts of your house. This over here is the kitchen. I'm going to want a window right here. And let's have a window right here. If you just want one window in the kitchen, you can go ahead and delete one window. It's up to you where you put your windows. And guys, also remember different um, windows um, have different length and width you can go on the internet and type in the standard measurement for living room windows etc and you can go back in autocad and change them we have a window for the dining room a window for the living room right here and right here uh, let's have a window at the porch looking ahead and a window for the bedroom That is it for the glider windows. Um, we do not have window for closet. I've never seen. That's just so dumb. Why would I need one window for your closet? All right. So we're going to go ahead and change the width of these window. Now, a ba a bedroom window is supposed to be, I think, seventy two by forty eight. But I do know that the window width in millimeter is. 1219 and it's the same for the living room so we are going to click on these windows and change the width to 1219 and we're going to also move up the windows so that they can be um in their proper places so you guys don't really worry about the positions of the windows right now. So go on width and select 1219. Sorry, not select, just type it in. Enter. Okay, that is that. And all right. So the window for the bedroom is fine um this is too much in the wall so we can move this to come right here or we can center it i showed you guys how to center um you click on the item that you want to center go up here select center and um select the axis that you want to center on which is the horizontal axis or as most people know it as the x-axis from the end point so we want to center it and as you can see it made a little shift which means it is now centered 
so if you guys don't want to just move your um, windows you guys can go ahead and center them and I think that is one of the best things for us to do at this point just center windows so we just centered our windows um, what we need to do now is go to the kitchen and get the correct width of the kitchen window which is 914 millimeters and that is a number in inch i don't remember what that is in inches but you can, as you guys know um, i usually work with millimeters so i'm familiar with the millimeters so 914 millimeters should be the width of your kitchen window as well as your bathroom now let's go and put in the window for our bathroom and as i told you before a bathroom window will be an awning window so this over here is our bathroom where should i put the window right here why is this not working right there <clears throat> I'm going to have one right here as well because if the bath or the shower should be over here there should be a window because you know when when you have a bath the bathroom get really hot because yeah one worry about things happen so the bathroom get really hot when you have a bath so you know you need a little um, ventilation going on there so 914 why is this freezing sorry guys okay go to do with exit of 914 and the same thing here don't be an idiot like me i literally could just select the two windows and adjust to them separately why did i do that 914 again as you can go ahead again and center the window if you guys even though i just showed you guys how to center if you don't remember how to center i'm going to do it again for you guys so it can be fresh in your memory select the object that you want to center up here at the ribbon select center select the axis that you want it to be centered on and between the lines that you want to be centered so the first point i want it to be here and the second point i want it to be here just like that so guys basically this is the tutorial let us do our one final thing and generate it in 3d yeah these are our windows wow let me to give it a little twirl for you guys okay that is it for today's tutorial next we are going to i believe we're going to do furnitures um just so i can give you guys a little um you know view of what we're going to be doing next this is a project that i've been working on yeah um these are the furnitures in it let me put it in 3d so you guys can see it properly yeah these are our furniture so we can have our beds our sofas and yeah let's close out this video guys please like comment share and subscribe stay blessed give less on a don't know my love no